Hi everyone, good morning. I'm Angela and this is Yoga. So let's begin by finding a comfortable seat, sitting on the floor or on a prop. And just take a moment to close your eyes or gaze softly at the tip of your nose. And bring yourself into the space Notice any sounds around you. Feel the airflow. And take note of how you're feeling. Try to just observe without judgment. And then shift your attention to your breath. The inhale and the exhale. As you inhale, notice your body rise. And as you exhale, notice it soften and release. Perhaps you imagine that there's a balloon by your diaphragm. And as you inhale, you're filling the balloon with air. And as you exhale, you're letting all the air out of the balloon. Deep full inhales and deep full exhales. Allow the inhale to fill you up and the exhale to help you soften and release. On your next exhale, send all the air out. Together, let's take a breath in and sigh out like you're fogging up a window. Again, inhale and exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. This time, seal your lips. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Ujjayi, nostril breathing. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And slowly open your eyes or lift your gaze. And come into a child's pose. And separate your knees mat distance apart. Big toes touch. Gently place your forehead on the mat. Reach your arms forward. And continue to breathe here. So this morning's class is open level and I'll offer options throughout. Know that they're just options. If at any point you need a break, return to child's pose or simply sit on your heels. We continue to breathe into the back body. Imagine that the breath is traveling up and down your spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head and back down from the crown of your head to your tailbone. And then just massage your forehead a little bit on the mat, letting go of any tension, any worries, any noise. Now come on to your fingertips. So tend your fingers. See if you can find a little bit more length in your spine as you send your seat further back towards your heels. Lift your armpits, lengthen through both sides of your waist. And slowly make your way onto all fours in tabletop position. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. 
Inhale, arch your spine, face towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl it round, knees towards your navel. Inhale and arch, allow your belly and chest to fall. Exhale, curl and round, push the floor away, dome your upper back. Continue to move like this, cat cow, sinking your breath with your movement. Try to allow the breath to initiate the movement. Going as fast or as slow as feels good to you. And then feel free to add some movement if you'd like to circle your hips, making smaller, large circles. And as you move, take inventory of your body. So notice where it is in space today. Notice any areas of tightness or tension, any kinks. And then slowly make your way back to neutral. And exhale all the air out. Tuck your toes, bend your seat to the ceiling. And press back to downward facing dog. So this is our first down dog. Maybe you pedal your feet. Gently move your hips. Shake your head yes and no. Flutter your lips. And then try and find stillness. So feel equal weight between your hands and feet. Draw your navel towards your spine. Send your sit bones high to the ceiling. Rotate the eye of your elbow towards the ceiling and press all fingers evenly into the floor. And inhale, lift your right leg high. Open your hip and bend your knee. Circle your ankle. And reverse the circle. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step through, low lunge. You can use your props to bring the floor to you. Keeping your feet where they are, begin to straighten and fold over your right leg. Inhale, bend, return to a low lunge. And exhale, Straighten and fold over your right leg. Again, inhale, bend to look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Last one, inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten and fold, fold here. See if you can use your breath to soften where you feel tightness and tension by focusing on the exhale. And as you breathe out, imagine that that area is expanding, releasing, letting go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, return to a low lunge. Lower your back knee down and untuck your toes. Reach your arms overhead. Anjani Asana, or crescent moon, and breathe here. Walk your right foot a little bit forward so that your hips can sink forward and down. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Draw everything into the midline, so lift in and up. And hands down, frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes and lift your knee. Left hand down, right arm to the ceiling for a low lunge twist. Try and square your hips to the mat and twist from your navel up. And hands down, frame your front foot, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg high, open your hip and bend your knee. Circle your ankle, and reverse the circle. Inhale, left leg high, Exhale, step through, low lunge. Hands to matter, hands to prop. Inhale, look forward and exhale, begin to straighten and fold over your left leg. Again, inhale, bend. 
and exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Lift your chest. Exhale, straighten. Last one, inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten and hold. Breathe here. Draw your navel towards your spine. Draw your left hip slightly back. Relax your shoulders, neck, and head. Keep the upper body. And then inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, lower your back knee down and tuck your toes. Anjani the left side. See if you can find a little bit of movement. So sink your hips forward and down. Feel a stretch through your right hip flexor. And find an internal lift. You know that this is Mula Bandha. We lift to the top. Find a little buoyancy, a lightness. And hands down, frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your knee. Right hand down, left arm to the ceiling, low lunge twist. Energy through your heel and through the crown of your head. And hands down, frame your front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Let's take a collective breath in and a breath out. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Walk towards the front of the mat and fold over your legs. Keep a slight bend in your knees, hold opposite elbows, and gently swing your torso from side to side. Imagine that there's a door at the top of your head and everything is falling out. So just let it all go. All the worries, all the chatter, all the noise. And then reverse the grip of your elbows, hold the other way. your hands down to the mat and separate your feet mat distance apart. Squat pose malasana. If your heels lift up, simply place something underneath your seat. And bring your palms to heart center. Gently press your elbows towards your inner thighs. And gaze at the tip of your nose. And release your hands down. Heels on your feet and so their hip distance apart in parallel. Begin to roll up your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, really being mindful of your movement, going as slow as you can, breathing into your back body, allowing your neck and head to be heavy and the last thing to arrive. Bring your feet together, mountain pose, Tadasana, arms by your side. Take a moment here to gently close your eyes or lower your gaze. And if you'd like to set an intention today, offering your efforts, if that feels right to you, you can do so now. Or perhaps think of an affirmation to support you throughout the practice, such as, I am growing, I am enough, I am blessed. These are just examples. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes or lift your gaze and come to the front of your mat. Getting ready for sun salutations. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, look at your thumb. Exhale, fold forward, hands to mat or hands to prop. Inhale, lengthen your spine, find a flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank. Engage your core, lift your navel towards your spine. Exhale, lower all the way down onto the mat, onto your tummy. Side forward to a low cobra. Untuck your toes, place your fingertips by your chest. Exhale, seat the heels, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. And try and return to nostril breathing if you've lost it, so breathing in and out through keeping our internal organs warm. And lift your heels, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, mountain pose, 
Tadasana. Again, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward over your right hand. Inhale, halfway lift, find the flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank pose. Listen carefully, this time lower halfway, chaturanga Tadasana, modified push up, fire your elbows towards your rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog, untuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, hold here and breathe. And so friends, as we flow this morning, I'll cue for chaturanga, modified push up into up dog. So you always have the option to lower down, but not and take the low cobra. So choose what's best for your body this morning. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat, and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumb. Exhale, mountain pose. Good ass. Now, last one. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half, halfway lift, shoulder blades on your back. Exhale, step back to a plank pose, gaze forward. Lower half my chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Send your chest through your arms. Exhale, downward facing dog. And three breaths here. And down dog, taking inventory of your shape from your feet to your fingertips. Small shifts to radical. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat, and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, mountain pose. Put asana, take a breath in, and a breath out. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, weight is in your heels, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank pose, gaze forward. Lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, rise to warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Warrior, bend your front knee deeply, reach your right arm back, and exhale, cartwheel your hands down, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, rise to warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee deeply, reach your left arm back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here and breathe. So we'll repeat that flow one more time now that you have it in your body. And again, see if you can make small adjustments, small adjustments. Inhale, step your right foot forward, rise to warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee deeply. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, rise to warrior Exhale, open up, warrior two. Widen your stance. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Reach your left arm back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here and breathe. Now 
rapidly grow, feel free to go faster or slower than my cue. This is your practice, I'm just here to guide. With your heels, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat, and fold over your leg. Inhale, bend your knees, see if you can sit a little bit lower. Share pose with Tadasana. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Let's take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, reach your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, fold over your leg. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank. Or halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, rise to warrior one and hold warrior one. So back toes at a 45 degree angle. Lift your left quad away from your kneecap. Bend your front knee deeply. And feel ground in your lower body and light in your upper body. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Press your palms to the back. Rise to stand. Exhale, bend, return to warrior one. Inhale, straighten, grow tall. And exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, rise to stand and exhale, open up, warrior two. Widen your stance. Imagine that you're pulling your mat energetically in opposite directions with your feet. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, reverse warrior. We've been here before. Exhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Continue to reach your right arm back. Create space through your right rib cage. And then inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, triangle pose. Maybe adjust your stance a little bit. Lower your right hand down. Reach your left arm to the sky. Continue to open up your chest. So find a little bit of a back bend behind your heart. Keep an open heart, an open mind. Inhale, reach your left arm overhead. Exhale, reach your right arm forward. Find a contraction. Rise to stand. Turn both feet parallel, hands to waist. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold forward, hands to mat. Or to cross. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, draw the crown of your head towards the ground. And continue to breathe here. And see if you can find the middle. So weight is not in your heels, in the past, and not in the balls of your feet, into the future, but rather in the moment in the present. Reminding yourself to be here. And inhale, gaze forward, lengthen your spine, exhale, bend your right knee, lean over to the right. Inhale, come center, exhale, go left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, and exhale, left. Continue to move like this with your own breath, making these as small or as large as feels good. Right. You want yoga to feel good, so find that Place that it feels juicy. And then once you've done an even amount, walk your hands to the inside of your right foot and turn up your back heel. Setting up for lizard. Pull your chest through your arms and send your energy forward and back. Maybe option to lower your back knee down and untuck your toes. You can also lower down onto your forearms. And continue to breathe here. So in moments of stillness, sometimes our mind seems to wander. And if that happens, it's okay. Just allow the thoughts to wash over you and try to bring your attention back to the breath, back to breathing the inhale and the exhale. And then tuck your back toes and lift your knees. Feel toe your right foot 
into the middle and come into a low lunge. Place your left hand down. We're moving into side plank, Vajisasana. See if you can stack your right foot on top. You reach your right arm high. You can also modify and place your bottom knee on the mat. Imagine that there's a beach ball underneath you and you're moving your hips away from it. And then slowly return to a plank pose. And press back to downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa here or just hold down dog. So vinyasa is just chaturanga into up dog. You can also take a rest if you need. And then we'll all meet in down dog. Now step your left foot forward, rise to warrior one and hold warrior one. Come back toes at a 45 degree angle to the corner of your mat. Try and square both hip points to the front. Knit your ribs together. Inhale, straighten your front leg, press your palms to the back. And exhale, bend, return to warrior one. Inhale, straighten, draw your navel towards your spine. And exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, rise to stand and exhale, open up, warrior two. Feel equal weight in your back foot and front foot. Imagine that your spine is in a line from your tailbone to the crown of your head. And gaze softly over your front fingers. Inhale, reverse, warrior, bend your front knee a little bit deeper, rotate your left thigh out. And then inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, breathe into your left side body. Ground down through your front foot and reach through your fingertips to create more length. Inhale, rise, stand exhale, triangle pose, send your hips back, front of head forward. Reach your right arm to the sky. Inhale, reach your right arm overhead. Exhale, reach your left arm forward. Find that contraction. Inhale, rise to stand. And exhale, turn both feet parallel. This time, interlace your hands behind your back and lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Draw the crown of your head towards the ground as you reach your arms overhead. See if you can use your breath to soften. And then inhale, release your hands to the mat, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, bend over to the left. Inhale, come center, and exhale, go right. You continue to move with your breath. Making these as large or as small as feels good. And then fully come center. Once you've done an even amount, walk your hands to the inside of your left foot, turn up your back heel. Moving into lizard pose. Connect your left shoulder with your left knee. And take the same variation you did on the other side. And in these moments of stillness, see if you can watch your thoughts. See if you can be an observer. So imagine that you are somewhere above looking down. And you're just you're just watching your thoughts, you're trying not to judge good or bad. Just observe. And then slowly return to a low lunge. Place your right palm down. Side plank your Vashi Sasana. Stack your left leg on top. Reach your left arm high. Take a breath in. And a breath out. You now return to a plank pose. And next now press back to downward facing dog. And take the vinyasa here. Hold down dog. Or take a rest. And we'll all meet in down dog. And 
can now lift your right leg high. I can step through and rise to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modified side angle. Place your right forearm on your thigh, left arm overhead. And find a flow. So inhale, reverse. Exhale, modified side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, modified side angle. Pause here. If you'd like to go further, place your right hand in front of your right foot on the floor on a prop and reach your left arm straight to the ceiling, one line from wrist to wrist. Find that connection with your shoulder and your knee. And option to take a half bind, so maybe you reach around and grab the top of your right thigh, or take a full bind, reach your right arm under, and maybe your hands meet. Continue to try and keep an open heart and an open chest. And stay here, or if you'd like to go further, begin to straighten your front leg into bound triangle. Again, this is just an option. Okay, so feel free to stop at any point. There are always options. Okay, we get into trouble when we think we don't have any options. And then slowly release the bind if you took it. Return to extended side angle A. Inhale, gaze down at your right foot. Stay low. And exhale, move with your breath into half moon pose. So begin to lift your left leg. Flex your foot strong. Open your hips to the side wall. And if you feel steady here and would like to take a variation, you can do that now. But if you're working on balance, right? Stay exactly where you are. And if you fall out, just come back. We can take risks on our mat. This is a, a safe space. And if we take them here, then we're more likely to take them out in the world. Take a big step back, return to a low lunge. Lower your back knee down and untuck your toes. Bend your back leg, reach around, catch your foot or your ankle for a quad stretch. Let's see if you can spin your chest towards the sky. Take your hips down for a deeper stretch. And then release your back foot. Begin to straighten your right leg, coming into your half bottom and half and higher runner's lunge. Flex your front foot, send your right hip back. See if you can flatten out your lower back. And then slowly return to a low lunge. Step back to downward facing dog. Take vinyasa or hold down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through and rise to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend your front knee deeply. Reach your left arm back. And exhale, modify side angle. We'll cycle through, find that flow. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, modified. Last one, inhale, reverse. Exhale, modified. You stay here, place your left hand in front of your left foot. Reach your right arm straight to the ceiling. Try and take any pace out of your elbow, reaching through your fingertips. And stay here, or maybe take a half bind, reach around, grab the top of your left thigh. Take the full bind if you did so on the other side. Trying to create evenness in the body. And if you'd like to go further, begin to straighten your left leg for a bound triangle. Wherever you are, see if you can lean back a little, keep an open heart, an open mind, open to receiving. Slowly release the bind. If you if you chose to take it on this side, inhale, gaze down at your left foot and exhale. Begin to lift your right foot, flex your foot 
cat moon pose. Keep a slight bend in your standing leg. Engage your core. Take any variation you may have chosen on the other side. And if you're working on balance again, just sit exactly where you are. Like, can you accept and honor where you're at today? Can you appreciate what your body is able to do? And then take a big step back, return to a low lunge. Lower your back knee down. Untuck your toes, reach around, catch your foot or your ankle for a quad stretch. Sink your hips down. Bump it up a notch, feel a deeper stretch. Slowly release the back leg, begin to straighten your left leg, coming into runner stretch, half on Madhasana. And try to flatten out your lower back as much as you can. Draw your navel towards your spine. And send your left hip a little bit back. And slowly return to a low lunge. And step back to downward facing dog. And take the now third hold down dog. Make work everyone nice slow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step through and rise to a high lunge. The hips are forward facing. Rise to the ball of your left foot. Reach your fingertips to the sky. Open your arms out, bend your elbows, feel expansive across your chest. Inhale, straighten, lift everything up. And exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hands to heart center, lift your chest, and exhale, take a twist over to the right. Stay here, or if you'd like to modify, lower your back knee down. And if you'd like to go further with an arm variation, you can open your arms or take a bind if that's available. Wherever you are, make sure you're breathing. Like, if we lose the breath, we know that we've gone too far. And then inhale, hands down, crane your front foot. Pop your back foot in, pyramid pose, until your feet are about three and a half feet apart. Hands to mat or hands to prop. Inhale, lean to your spine. And exhale, fold forward over your right leg. Just allow your upper body to drape over your right leg. Your shoulders, neck, and head are relaxed. And again, in these moments of stillness, if your mind begins to wander, perhaps you recall your intention or your affirmation. Or simply trace the breath, the inhale and the exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, reach your left leg high. For a moment, find a standing slope. Send your toes to the ceiling. Draw your navel towards your spine. And then open your hips and bend your knee. Tuck your back leg under. And come down to sit. So let's take a uh, Gomu Krasana today. Stack your knees one on top of another, and send your feet away from the midline of your body, away from your seat. If this is too much, you can take easy seat, cross your ankles. Right. Find your sit bones even on the ground. And you can stay here, or option to bend forward, grab your toes in your lap, lift your chest, and exhale, move with your breath. Fold forward over your leg. And breathe here. So find that place between effort and ease that you can comfortably hold the pose. And if you feel a little bit of discomfort, that's okay. That's actually good. 
be with him to take this opportunity to lean into the discomfort. That's how we change and we grow. And you'll get us where the magic happens, as we say. Transforming, transforming our body. And then slowly come up to sit. You can cross your ankles. Make your way back to downward facing dog. And take the vinyasa or hold down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through and rise to a high lunge. Feel grounded in your lower body, light in your upper body. Bend your elbows out to the side. Feel expansive across your chest. Inhale, lengthen, grow tall. And exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hands to heart center and lift your chest. Exhale, take a twist over to the left. Take any modification or variation you did on the other side. Try and square your hip points and twist from your navel up. Take one more breath here. And then lower your hands down to the mat. Pop your back foot in. Pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward over your left leg. If you find yourself judging yourself or others, to see if you can shift the feeling. So then you find a better, a better thought to shift your emotion. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, reach your right leg high. Find a standing split. And energy through your toes, reach for the ceiling. And then open your hip and bend your knee. Tuck your back leg under and come to sit. We'll take Goma Prasana on the other side or easy seat, whatever you did on the right. Take a moment to set it up. So feel both sit bones even, feet away from the midline of your body. And if you'd like to pull forward, you can do so now moving with your breath. Try and be gentle with your body. So if you find yourself judging, how can you shift that thought to a more supportive place? Can you accept? Can you honor? Can you feel gratitude for where you're at? And then slowly come up to sit. Cross your ankles, make your way back to downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa or hold down dog. Walk your feet towards your hands and come to fold over your legs. And slowly roll up your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, until you arrive to stand. Bring your feet together, mountain pose, tadasana, at the front of your mat. Let's try Eagle Pose. So bring your arms out to the side. Wrap your left arm on top of your right. Cross to your wrists and maybe your palms touch. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Lift your right leg and cross your right leg over your left. You stay here or maybe you double wrap. Right, so opposite arm is on top, left arm is on top, and right leg is on top. Now, if you feel steady here, begin to fold forward, moving with your breath. 
find a point of focus, something that's not moving, or stay upright, exactly where you are, and breathe. See if you can make the pose work for you. So your expression of the pose is the pose. And if you're folded forward, slowly move with your breath, rise to stand. Everyone unravel, and we'll switch sides. So shake it out for a moment. This time, open your arms up, wrap your right arm on top, wrap your wrists and maybe your palms touch. Wrap your left leg on top of your right. And double wrap if you did so on the other side. You may notice, as, as I just did, that one side might be easier than the other, right? So that's why we practice. And take any variation that you may have chosen on the other side. And again, be gentle with your body and gentle with your thoughts. So if you find yourself getting frustrated or judging, can you shift your thoughts to a more supportive place? A place of honoring what your body can do, of gratitude, of acceptance, and slowly unravel, and return to mountain pose, Tadasana. Rise up onto the balls of your feet. Lift everything together. So heels together, legs together, hands at heart center. And we're gonna slowly make our way down. Imagine that you're moving your back down a wall. See if you can keep your heels lifted. And energy through the crown of your head. So that's moving up, even though your body is moving down. So find the, the opposition to help you balance. And once you've made your way to your heels, you simply lower your seat down. We're going to move into a boat pose. Begin by finding your, your sit bones and come to the tops of your toes and hold underneath your thighs. And then begin to lift your legs into a tabletop and see if you can keep your lower back long and lift your chest. This, this may be perfect. So stay here or release your legs and lift your palms. Try not to compromise your lower back or your chest. And if you'd like to go further, maybe you straighten your legs if that's available to you. And take one more breath wherever you are. And then slowly lower everything down. And come to lie down on your back. And setting up for a bridge pose. And bend your knees. Feet are hip distance apart in parallel. You can also take a restorative posture here where you place something underneath your sacrum. And simply allow your lower back to melt into the prop, to allow the prop to support you. Or take a bridge, so press into your heels, lift your hips, roll your shoulders under, and open up your chest. Press into your heels to lift your hips a little higher. And slowly lower down upper, middle, the lower back. Just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. If you're in a restorative posture, you can stay there. So we'll repeat bridge or take wheel if it's in your practice. And if you're taking wheel, bring your hands by your ears. When you're ready, lift up either bridge or wheel. If you're in wheel, see if you can find the back bend in your upper back by pressing into your heels and moving your chest through your arms. And wherever you are, make sure your feet are parallel to protect your lower back. And then slowly make your way down, upper, middle, 
Lower back, hug your knees into your chest. You can roll up, please. Make small circles with your knees. Going in one direction. And then reverse the circle. We'll take a reclining twist. If you'd like to take the variation, extend your legs straight to the ceiling. Wrap your right leg on top. Maybe you double wrap. Then drop your knees over to the left and your upper body to the right. You can also simply just drop your knees to the left and upper body to the right. Try and relax your right shoulder towards the mat. And see if you can soften any remaining tightness or tension by using your breath. Slowly come center and switch sides. So extend your legs straight to the ceiling. You can just drop your knees over and take a twist. Or take the variation, eagle legs, double wrapping, dropping your knees to the right, upper body over to the left. And try and relax your left shoulder. Gaze over your Left fingertips allow your whole spine, neck, and head to be part of the twist. And then slowly come center, hug your knees in. Begin to rock and roll up and down your spine, massaging your back until you come up to sit. Send your legs in front, seated forward fold, or Paschimottanasana. So find your sit bones first. And place your hands by your hips and lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward over your legs, holding your shins, your toes, take a bind. And if you can't reach, yes you can, simply bend your knees. Right. We'll be here for about 10 breaths. So imagine that on the inhale, you're lengthening your lower back and on the exhale, you're folding a little bit deeper into yourself. So use this time to go inward and to connect with your body, with your mind and with your spirit. So feel the effects of the practice, the prana, the energy, the life force moving throughout your body your heart beating. Notice your breath and how it might be different from when you started. Slowly come up to sit. Bend your right knee into your chest. Take the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. And square your torso over your left leg. Hold forward. Jump your chair soft enough. Then you can hold your shin, your toes, take a bind. Slowly come up to sit and switch sides. So bend your left knee in, place the sole of your left foot against your right inner thigh. Square your torso. Lift your chest. And exhale, fold. Up to sit. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to open wide to the side. And if you're ready to rest, simply lie down in goddess pose. Maybe place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Close your eyes. If you'd like to seal the practice with an inversion, either a shoulder stand or a headstand something um, down-regulating, <laughs> you can choose to do that now. Preparing our bodies for rest.
So if you're inverting, just take your time. Everyone else, make your way into Shavasana, final rest pose. Extend your legs long. Allow your arms to fall by your side, palms face up. Close your eyes. And simply rest. Allow everything to completely release. Let go. Your only job right now is to rest. Feel free to stay in Shavasana, resting as long as you would like, or begin to make small movements with your fingers and toes. Gently move your head from side to side. When you're ready, roll to one side and pause here. eyes closed and slowly make your way to a comfortable seat. Bringing our hands to heart center. Take a moment and notice if you feel at all peaceful. And if you do, see if you can hold on to this feeling Keep it inside as you go about your day, go out into the world, interact with others. Thank you for sharing your